in this video, I'm going to present to you the case why Fourth Flight is absolutely crucial to have and how I use it to keep me and my students safe. If you are a pilot or you're interested in aviation, there's a pretty good chance you've heard of Fourth Flight. It is by far the largest aviation app in the world. But when I was going through school, I was not convinced I needed it and I didn't know how important it was. As I have gone through my journey, and I'm a flight instructor and a commercial pilot, I need four flight and you need four flight, and here are the reasons why. We will break each of them down, but there are three primary reasons why four flight is such a critical app to have. The first and by far the most important is the ADSB traffic information. Number two is the weather information, and number three is flight planning. By far the most important thing that four flight can offer you is traffic awareness and traffic alerts. Four flight can give you traffic information through the ADSB system. ADSB stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. It's kind of a weird acronym, but all you need to know is how it works. And how it works is every aircraft that's flying in the United States has to have an ADSB out transmitter. And what this ADSB out transmitter does is it sends out a signal sending its information, sending its flight information. That flight information containing its altitude, its speed, and its heading. So all aircraft give out that information and you can get a four flight receiver and this is called a sentry a four flight sentry and this is an ADSB in receiver so this ADSB in receiver takes all that ADSB information from other aircraft and it can connect to your four flight and give you traffic information so the super cool thing is if you get a four flight sentry which is that unit that takes all that ADSB information in you can connect a bunch of different devices to it so I use an iPad mini and I use my iPhone and then I can have traffic information coming into the aircraft through multiple different devices now this bigger unit of the four flight sentry is great the other thing this gives you so it gives you ADSB information your GPS information but this one also gives you carbon monoxide information which is really critical you know um, as a helicopter pilot in the summer months when you're sitting on the ramp and those blades are spinning as you're just letting your engine warm up or cool down you're getting those carbon monoxide fumes all around the cabin and it's really good to have an indication of what's going on so you can open the window or kind of expedite the process but so this is this is one of the larger units I think this one's about $800 there is a small unit I think it's called the Century Mini and the purpose of that unit is it, it just makes it a lot more compact and it's about half the price it's about $350 so $350 to get all this vital traffic information is worth its weight in gold you could ask me the question it's like hey Devin why do you really need that traffic information and so I would say obviously you would want it at like an uncontrolled airport so an airport where there's a lot of flight training going on there's not an air traffic control tower there's some really really big busy airports that do not have air traffic controllers. And in those cases, it's really good to have some ADSB information. Yes, everyone should be talking on the pilot radio, the pilot to pilot channel and making their position reports about where they are in relation to the airport. But a lot of times that doesn't happen. Some people are on the wrong frequencies. Some people don't have their radios on. Some people don't care to. Some people are just cowboys and want to come straight in. And sometimes, and I've had a lot of really close calls that are really uncomfortable. So if you You've got that pilot to pilot communication as well as ADSB traffic. You can literally see where aircraft are coming, what heading they're on, what altitude they're on, how fast they're going. All of that information coming in, plus the radios, plus being a good observant pilot of the area around you gives you a lot better chances of survival and coming home at the end of the day. Many of you helicopter pilots out there might have heard about this recently, but a couple weeks ago there was a fatal mid-air collision in Australia where two tour helicopters collided and it's really devastating. Now all the facts have not come out about it yet, but mid-air collisions do happen. They happen more commonly than you might think. And the perfect case was that specific day. It was a really beautiful day, but sometimes things just happen and sometimes you can collide. And if you can have any piece of information that helps you know where other people are and to avoid a collision it's crucial and the final thing on that thread is yes you can see all the traffic on four flight so you can see all the little airplanes in relation to you but the really nice thing that four flight does to really try to avoid a mid-air collision is if you are on a collision course or you're really in close proximity four flight will populate a message on the screen a big red message that says there's traffic at you one o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock whatever in relation to you 
at the same altitude, 300 feet above you, 300 feet below you, so you know exactly where to look. You've got a direction and you've got an altitude, just like an air traffic controller would tell you, and that is really critical. There's been times where I didn't know I was near traffic and then four flight just said, hey, there's traffic at you two o'clock, 300 feet above. So I look at my two o'clock and I look like kind of like 300 feet and it's like, oh crap, there is. So you know you're potentially in a conflict area. So all of that information is absolutely vital, worth its weight in gold. That is by far the number one reason why you need four flight and a sentry unit. And so the, the only downside is you do need that ADS-B in receiver to connect to four flight, but it's absolutely worth the cost. All right, reason number two why you need four flight is the weather information. Four flight by far has the most comprehensive weather information by any aviation source in my opinion. Now it is not necessarily FAA approved weather information. So if you're going for your check ride or you're in flight school, definitely use the FAA weather resources. But in terms of everyday flying, getting an overall picture, getting a sense of the weather, for flight by far has the best. So I typically use uh, the iPad mini for like my work and while I'm flying in the helicopter, but I have got four flight on my phone and I use both of them a ton. Typically how I start my day is like I'll wake up and I'll look at my phone and I'll go to four flight and that's the first place I go to get a general sense of the weather and start building my overall weather picture. The first tool I'll look at is the METAR, the meteorological aerodrome report. This is updated every hour and this just tells you exactly what's going on at the airport right then. So you've got your time that it was taken at, the winds, the visibility, the clouds, the temperature, the dew point, and the altimeter. So I can know what the day is starting like and then the next place I'll go is I'll go to the TAF, the terminal aerodrome forecast, and I'll start to scroll through that and start to see what the weather picture looks like as the day goes on. I'll also look at the MOS and the MOS is similar to the TAF and it's the expected weather. So I'll look at that and then I'll go to the daily. Now I love the daily. The daily is probably the best place. So at the top, you've got your information bar. So you've got like the overall weather picture. So it's gonna be cloudy, the flight category, the ceiling, the visibility, all your pertinent weather information. But then you can kind of scroll through the bottom and you can get uh, the exact weather at the exact time. So this all together, plays into knowing what the weather is going to do, having a sense of the weather, and that is crucial. The other thing I absolutely love about ForeFlight, and ForeFlight's not the only app that does this, you know, there's some good online websites that do this too, but if you look at the sectional, you can turn on the flight categories of the airports. Over every airport, it'll put a bubble with a color in it to indicate the flight category. So green indicating VFR, visual flight rules, good weather conditions, Blue indicating marginal VFR, so weather conditions that are a little bit less than VFR, but they're not bad yet. And then red will indicate IFR, so poor conditions. Most helicopters are not flying in IFR conditions. And then you've got pink, which is low IFR, which is the absolute worst of the worst. Even instrument approaches get really difficult at that point. So if you can look at a sectional of an area, and if everywhere is red and pink, you know like, okay, I'm probably not gonna get a lot done today. But if it's like green and kind of blue, then you can go into some further research. The final absolutely critical piece of information that Four Flight can give you while in flight is your weather radar. Now, most people out there know how a weather radar works. It basically just displays precipitation and storms moving in which is really critical to have as a pilot. But here's the thing, on your phone and on an iPad, if you don't have Wi-Fi or cell reception, you're kind of screwed, you know, you don't you don't get that radar information anymore. So what ForeFlight does is using that ForeFlight Sentry receiver, it can still give you that radar information. So it gives you ADS-B radar connected to your iPad or your iPhone. So now as I'm flying along, I don't have cell service, but I still have radar information and I know where the storms are. And that is absolutely critical. I mean, I can't overstate how important that is to still have radar information and know where things are moving. And the third and final most important thing that Four Flight can do to you to make you a safer pilot and make you a more efficient pilot is the flight planning. You know, when you want to plan a flight, a cross country flight, you're going somewhere away from your typical home airport, there is not a better tool in the world than Four Flight. And this is this kind of goes without saying, but it is absolutely mind boggling to have an entire sectional of basically the entire United States or wherever you live in the palm of your hands. You know, you can zoom in on anywhere and uh, get information. You know, you can you basically have a map of the entire world right there in the palm of your hand. When I was in flight school and it wasn't that long ago, you know, we were, I was still flying with like a paper sectional and that's how most people should be taught. I think you should be taught and learn how to use a paper sectional, but that paper sectional is relatively limited. And if you get outside of that sectional coverage area on that paper sectional, and then you're kind of screwed. But to have just 
this small little thing to have a map of all the airport information you need, like airport identifier, frequencies, elevations, traffic pattern altitudes, all of that in the palm of your hands is just, it's really ridiculous. But when you're flight planning, there's no easier way than to put in two airports in for flight. And you say, hey, I wanna go from this airport to this airport, and it tells you the distance. The other thing it can tell you, which is really critical, and it makes it really, it really elevates the safety, is it'll tell you your fuel burn. So if you can put in a profile, and let's say in a helicopter you're cruising at 80 or 90 knots. So you say, I'm gonna cruise at 90 knots, I'm gonna go from this airport to this airport. It'll tell you how much fuel you're gonna burn, which is great. But the other thing, and this is probably my favorite thing about it, is what it will do is calculate the winds aloft. So as you climb in altitude, the winds change. So you may have a headwind, you may have a massive tailwind. So if you're going from this airport to this airport, you can choose and see which altitudes are gonna give you the best, most favorable, favorable wind. Even when I'm going to airports that I typically go to and fly to, I will punch them into four flight and I will see what the winds at different altitudes are doing. So if I have to climb another thousand feet, but I'm gonna get a 20 knot tailwind and I'm gonna get there in half the time, that's crucial information, you know, that's very critical. So having that winds aloft information, and like I said, I mean, just having all the, FBO information, you know, when you get to the airport, where are you gonna park? You can also look at fuel prices. If there's two airports really close, but one airport has 50 cent cheaper gas, that, I mean, that's awesome, you know? It goes without saying, but another important thing is, you know, instrument approaches. You know, as a flight instructor with an instrument rating that gives instrument instruction, no greater tool than for flight for instrument approaches, you know? We can go out and do three or four approaches and have all of those approach plates pulled up on the iPad or the phone even. I know they're up to date. I know they're the most accurate instead of having my student have to print them out which works too and I, I do encourage them to do that sometimes but sometimes you might be given an approach or you might have to go to a new airport that you weren't planning on and like in the real world what if you have to divert to an airport where you didn't have those approach plates printed so you need the instrument approach information and you can just pull it up on four flight it's hard to really overstate the amount of information that four flight can give you and how it can make you such a safer pilot so you know in conclusion if you have a cell phone or an iPad mini and you've got a four flight Sentry and you've got the four flight setup, maybe it's a thousand dollars in total. A thousand dollars for the most comprehensive information about aviation and making you the safest aviator in the world, a thousand dollars is no expense to spare. You know, you get super life-saving traffic information, traffic awareness, knowing where other people are, knowing where other people are so they can't hit you and you don't hit them. You get extremely comprehensive weather information, building out your weather picture so you can get a general scope of what's going on, absolutely critical. And you get super comprehensive flight planning for legitimately every piece of information you can need for any flight. That is awesome. Now, and if you can have four flight on your iPad, your phone, and on your desktop using all three of these, and for a relatively low cheap subscription price, it is undervalued. Four flight could charge a lot more for the product they deliver. So no, this is not a sponsored review. I have no relation to four flight. I'd love to. I absolutely love their product. It is the best app I have on my phone. If you guys fly out there and you're using ForeFlight, you probably have some pretty positive reviews. Let me know what you think down below. Do you use ForeFlight? Do you like it? Are there anything, is there anything that you don't like about ForeFlight? Let me know down in the comments below. I will see you guys on the next one. If you wanna support the channel, check me out on Patreon. Links to everything I talked about are in the description below and I will see you on the next one. Take care.